It's steam, the future of the past. According to Rob Morland of the A1 Trust, it is definitely the future. They have managed to build a brand new steam locomotive, the first one since the 1950s. And we managed to speak to Rob on board the Tornado itself. This classic steam train took the A1 Steam Locomotive Trust nearly 20 years to build. The end result of this volunteer-run project is a state-of-the-art locomotive popular with both railway enthusiasts and tourists. Every steam engine that works on the main line in the UK has to have two uh, safety systems on the, on, on the engine. The first is the OTMR, the on-train monitor and recorder, which is the black box of the, the engine. It's actually coloured orange, um, and that uh, provides a, a record of everything that goes on on the engine. The second is the TPWS, the train protection and warning system, which is the signalling system which will automatically apply the brakes uh, in, in case of emergency. And both of those have to be on all engines that run on the main line. Well we've designed the power supply for the A1 to be as flexible as possible and so we have three methods of generating power on the engine. We have uh, a steam driven turbo generator on the locomotive so whenever we're in steam when we're running on the railway or on shed in steam we have power on the engine. Secondly we have a large tender alternator which is driven by a belt off the axle of the tender. This is a, an alternator off an old parcels van and this generates power when we're on the road when we're running a train like we are today. And thirdly we have the ability to connect mains power to the system if we're on shed out of steam so we can power the engine really wherever we want. At the moment uh, all steam engines on the main line in the UK are limited to 75 miles an hour maximum. Some are actually running at a, a lower speed than that but uh, no steam engine in the UK is allowed to go more than 75. We have designed the A1 to be uh, capable of running at 90 miles an hour and uh, we are working with the VAB and with Network Rail and our partners uh, to prepare the engine for 90 mile an hour running but there's no great hurry for that but we have put into the electrical system everything that we need in order to be able to run at 90 miles an hour and perhaps the most significant uh, part of that is the essential lamps that we have on the engine uh, anyone who's seen Tornado will have seen her rather powerful headlamp uh, this is a new design of LED headlamp and in fact I've got uh, one of the uh, internal assemblies here of the, the headlamp which was designed uh, by an optical physicist uh, colleague of mine in Cambridge it uses seven high power LEDs and the output of this uh, lamp assembly is the equivalent of a 150 watt halogen bulb around five around uh, three car headlamps um, and uh, it only takes less than 25 watts from our power supply. We've designed the system with plenty of power available for uh, modern systems as they become available and perhaps the uh, most interesting of these is the uh, ERTMS, the European uh, Modern Train Signalling uh, System and we've designed the engine to be able to provide all that's needed for ERTMS when it comes in in the UK so we have provision for the power requirements and we've decided where we would locate all the equipment for it. So that's it. This is the A1 steam locomotive. This has been a childhood dream of mine for a long time to actually sort of experience a, an actual steam engine and not only that, to actually stand on the footplate. This is Chris Sangani for ENT Video.